Continuing coverage tonight after the head of security at Grand Rapids Public Schools returned to work following a three week paid leave. Today we spoke to the parent who says he was threatened by Larry Johnson over the phone. 13 your sides, Lauren Baker spoke to that parent and what did they have to say, Lauren? Well, Elena Juliet, GRPS parent Seth Moore says more than anything, he's frustrated to see how the district handled the situation and doesn't believe Johnson should have been back. It's terrifying. Um, we want to pull our kid from the district. We, we don't want to be a part of this anymore. That's how GRPS parent Seth Moore says he's feeling after he says a phone call with GRPS's head of security, Larry Johnson, turned into an investigation and Johnson being on paid leave. The district is asking us to reimagine GRPS, to, to build better, to be better. I don't see how we as a district can be better with Larry in his role. He is not the right person to see us into the next stage. Moore says this all started when he called to complain about kids being left unattended by an adult at a transportation hub. While complaining to Johnson, he says Johnson got heated and threatened him, which led to an investigation. We saw the emails that say an investigation found that Johnson was substantiated for threatening Moore. Moore thought that would mean Johnson would be let go. But instead, Johnson was sent on a three week paid leave, which he says is not enough of a punishment. At that level of the level of chief of staff, at the level of director of safety and security for the school, you should be held to a higher standard than anyone else in the district, especially when it comes to interactions with parents in the community, especially when it comes to threatening a parent. There should be a zero tolerance policy. In a statement, GRPS says in part, quote, within minutes of the call, both employees who were a part of the conversation reported what occurred to the appropriate parties. The district immediately brought in an outside firm to review the matter. We recognize the call did not meet our standards for interacting with valued members of our community, and we apologize that the call was handled the way it was. Moore says he hopes by speaking out, changes will be made in the district. There needs to be change within our district because at this point I have lost all faith in this district. And Johnson did reach out to us yesterday to let us know he had returned to work this week. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Baker, 13 on your side.